Well, hello there, boys. What is it you're doing today? We're doing science, mister. <laughs> That's certainly exciting. Well, you might want to consider taking several safety precautions before beginning your experiments. What precautions, sir? Well, Billy, you might want to consider using protective eyewear, like goggles, to keep your eyes safe from the chemicals you'll be working with. Try them on, Billy! To use goggles, simply place them around your head and then tighten them until they fit the size of your face. When applied correctly, the goggles should be snug against your face, so as to prevent any chemicals from entering your eyes. It sure is snug! Wow! All right, Billy. It looks like your eyes are ready to do experiments. Shouldn't I have a pair, Mister? You probably should. <laughs> well, now that you boys have learned about proper eye safety in the lab, it's time to talk about the clothing you should wear to do your experiments. Oh, boy. Golly gee, mister. What clothing do we need? Well, here's a good example. First, start with nothing on. Then apply the pants. Pants are essential to keep chemicals and other materials off of your legs. Next, you might want to put on a shirt. A shirt will keep chemicals off of your chest and arms, if you wear long sleeves. Put on your goggles, as we discussed earlier. You may also choose to wear gloves. Gloves can be an important part of the lab, because they'll keep things off of your hands as you're working up close with the chemicals. Ah! Oh god, god, everything hurts! So my eyes feel fantastic! Oh. Oh. Well, boys, it looks like you found your Bunsen burner. But, mister, that looks like a candle. Well, it's not. It's a Bunsen burner. Okay. And it's how you'll be heating all the chemicals you need in the laboratory. Although, it is a very handy piece of equipment for causing chemical reactions, you don't want to touch it. You also want to be very careful when dealing with your Bunsen burner. Here are some safety precautions you should take to avoid getting burnt. You know, you probably shouldn't wear so much loose clothing while being that close to the Bunsen burner. Something bad might happen. Whoa there, Billy. I wouldn't want to be drinking that. That's hydrochloric acid, and it'll burn your mouth right off of your face. You might want to set it down. There you go. And Paul, you probably don't want to be playing with that dangerous chemical either. That's right, slide it up there. Good work, boys. You've learned an important lesson in chemical safety. Chemicals should not be played with in the lab. They are not meant to be eaten, touched, or otherwise come in contact with, unless your teacher tells you to. All right, Paul, are you ready to do your very first science experiment? Yes, I am. Well then, take the blue chemical in front of you and weigh it on the scale. It's 820 grams. Wow, that sure is a lot of grams. Yes, it is. All right, for the next step, you're going to need the help of your friend, Billy. Billy, can you help me on this? Billy? What's wrong with Billy? <laughs> well, it would appear Billy has... Taking a swing, guys. What happened to him? Well, right now, it's eating away the line of salt. You can die. Oh. However, you can help Billy by shouting, Code 1, so your teacher can hear you. Code 1! Code 1! Well, it looks like she's on the way now. I don't see her. That's because he's already dead and no one loves him anymore. 